the tropical depression is still evolving to the northeast of Mauritius and Reunion, where it passed Rodrigues throughout the night, bringing heavy rain showers and gusty winds. It still has the chance to develop into tropical storm Fida as environmental conditions are expected to improve. To ensure you do not miss any important updates, please subscribe and turn on notifications. Tropical Depression 11S is currently located about 250 km northwest of Rodrigues and approximately 850 km east-northeast of Mauritius. It's moving west at a speed of 25 to 28 km per hour. The system is currently facing moderate to strong easterly wind shear, which is hindering its development. However, this is expected to change soon. The maximum significant wave height in the area is currently around 5.2 meters. The depression made its closest approach to Rodrigues and is now moving away. This prompted the issuance of a Class 2 cyclone warning for the island. Residents there experienced heavy rain, thunderstorms, and increasingly strong southeasterly winds around 45 km per hour and gusts up to 90 km per hour throughout the night. The seas around Rodrigues were and still are very rough with significant swells, making it extremely dangerous to venture out to sea. A more moderate impact is expected for Mauritius, although residents should still stay informed about the latest forecasts as the system is predicted to pass north of the island on Sunday. This could bring increased winds and rainfall to Mauritius. Reunion is also anticipating a change in weather starting Sunday, with stronger winds, especially in the north and south, and more humid, rainy conditions in the east and southeast as the depression passes more than 200 kilometers to the north. St. Brandon is also expected to see heavy rain. While currently a tropical depression, conditions are becoming more favorable for 11S to strengthen. Forecasts suggest that the wind shear will lessen within the next 36 hours, and the system will move over warmer waters with more moisture. This combination of factors could lead to the depression intensifying into a moderate tropical storm, at which point it would be named FIDA. The peak intensity is predicted to occur between 3 and 4 days from now, potentially reaching speeds of 95 to 110 km per hour. The depression is currently moving west-southwest, steered by a high-pressure ridge to its south. This ridge is acting like a barrier, guiding the storm's path. After the system passes north of Mauritius on Sunday, a second, stronger high-pressure ridge will take over, further influencing the storm and causing its track to curve more towards the west-northwest. This trajectory puts it on a course towards Madagascar, with landfall expected in about four days along the northeastern coast, near Tomasina. While this is the current forecast, the precise landfall location will become clearer in the coming days. As we gain more certainty about the storm's intensity, we can also refine our track predictions. This is because a storm's intensity can affect its interaction with these high-pressure ridges, and thus, its track. Regardless of the exact point of landfall in Madagascar, the mountainous terrain of the island is expected to quickly weaken and dissipate the system. There's a possibility, albeit a distant one, that the system could re-intensify in the Mozambique Channel after crossing Madagascar. However, this potential re-intensification is too far out in the forecast to predict with any real accuracy at this time. We'll be monitoring the situation closely over the next few days and will provide updates as the forecast becomes more certain. While forecasters are becoming more confident in the track prediction, there's still some uncertainty, particularly beyond three days. This uncertainty translates to a range of possible landfall locations in Madagascar. There's also some variation in intensity forecasts, although most models indicate that the system will strengthen before it reaches land. Therefore, it's crucial for residents of Mauritius, Reunion, and Madagascar and potentially down the line, Mozambique to stay updated on the latest forecasts and warnings issued by the National Meteorological Services. Mariners in the region should also be extremely cautious due to the hazardous sea conditions. It's important to remember that localized heavy rainfall and thunderstorms are possible even if a general warning for heavy rain or thunderstorms is not in effect. Always stay aware of the weather and monitor your local weather conditions. That's all for today. Subscribe to this channel to get the latest updates on tropical cyclones. We would also appreciate it if you could share this video to keep others informed and safe. Stay safe and see you soon.